Well, I'll bet you people are wondering where the Credit Crusader has gone to. It has been an awfully long time since he's made one of his videos. You see, the Credit Crusader can no longer make videos. Because his ass got sent to YouTube prison. You see, he got a community guideline strike. This wasn't a warning this time. So now all I need is two more to send his ass to the YouTube electric channel. Let this be a warning to all you criminals out there. You big brothers thinking you can talk about that CPN talk. How to get a goddamn bank account with a CPN. How to get tree lines and put them on CPNs and then get cell phones, cars, and all sorts of shit you weren't supposed to get. That demographic I always see on that there YouTube, that there social media, I see them all on there. That demographic that likes to break the law, you know that demographic I'm talking about. All oh, you scammers and bank robbers that have popped up on YouTube in the past year talking about CPNs, putting for entertainment only before the doctor. Damn video thinking it's gonna save your ass. Does this look like entertainment to you? This isn't some big damn joke. The way y'all are treating it. You think I'm gonna tolerate this shit anymore? You got another thing coming. Jesus forgives. Sheriff Blind Justice doesn't. So if any of y'all think you can keep talking about this, you CPN talk, wearing masks, feet all masked up, you ain't fooling no one. I am a product of pain and suffering, and I'm more than happy to pass the savings on all of you. There ain't nobody gonna be breaking the law on this here YouTube platform. I'm gonna be laying those strikes down. Crusader, I got one strike on you. All I need is two more to send your ass to the electric car. Yeah, guys, unfortunately, he's right. I got thrown in YouTube jail. It was the video that I did last week. They got a community guideline strike, they took it down, and then I've been sitting here in jail for the past week. I'm finally allowed to post again, but I'm still in jail technically until the guidelines falls off, the UD guideline strike falls off, which is sometime in November. And he's also right, if I get two more, my channel gets taken down forever. Now, there's some things I'd like to say about this. The video that I did, I really, I looked it up and down. There really wasn't anything in it. So I'm really curious as to why I got the guideline strike on that particular video. And YouTube, they're not gonna give you any real information. They'll just say, oh uh, yeah, this violated our community guidelines, uh, but they won't tell you like exactly what you did. So I'm in the process of looking for other avenues to put my content on. Rumble seems promising and some other different platforms because I'm pretty sure that if I want to keep doing this, I'm going to have to find some alternate places to put my videos up. But you guys came to visit me. I really do appreciate it. So with that being said, I made a little video for you guys that shows the process of how authorized user trade lines get put on credit reports. I hope you guys enjoy it. Well, how's it going, guys? That's right, the Crusader's back, and I'm going to be bringing you this diagram that I made showing you the journey an authorized user trade line makes in order to get on your credit profile. Now, just so you know, if I was to buy an authorized user trade line, the first thing I would do is I would check my credit monitoring. I'd pull my reports. Now, why would I do that? I would do that to make sure that the information that's on all three reports, make sure that information is consistent, meaning same name, same date of birth, same social, same address. It's gotta be exactly the same. I'm gonna get into why that's important later on in this video. So after I made sure that all three bureaus that I had credit monitoring on them, because I'm gonna need credit monitoring to see if the line posted or not, I would then take that information and go to a trade line company. Now, as far as trade line companies are concerned, trade line vault is the best in my opinion. They've never done me wrong. They've been around for years and they've got a great reputation. They know what they're doing. So they're, they're the only people I mess with. So I would go over there and I would then uh, pick out a line. Now what's gonna happen 
is after I picked out a line that I wanted to buy, the I would have to give my information to the trade line company to be added. What they're going to ask for is the name, the date of birth, the social, and the address. They all ask for it. So then I'd give that information. And then the trade line company would then send that information that I just gave them to a card holder who had a credit card with the co-assigning line that I wanted to buy. Let's just say I wanted to buy a Barclay 10K. Well, they would send my information to a card holder with that card. The card holder would then take that information that the trade line company gave them and use it to add an authorized user onto their account. Now, a lot of people are like, well, how come trade lines don't post fast? Like, why does it take days, sometimes weeks for them to post? I'm going to go over that right now. The act of getting your information, sending it to the trade line company, and then sending it to the card holder, and then having them add user and authorized user, that can happen in one day. That can happen very fast. The, where things get hung up is the banks only report every month, once a month. They don't report every day. So let's just say the closing date's five days out. Well, I'm gonna send my information. They're gonna send it to the, to the card holder. The card holder is gonna add as an authorized user, but I, it, my information's gonna be waiting here until the statement closing date. Now, after that happens, then the banks are gonna send that information to the bureaus. Now what's happening here is the bureaus are gonna be like, okay, we got this information. Do we have any credit profiles in our system that have this information. If they find a match, then boop, they'll add the trade line and it'll be on the credit report. Now, once that happens, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna be able to see it on your credit report. Now, why is that? Because your credit monitoring needs to pull a report and they don't do that every day. Sometimes they make you wait a week. so. You could have a trade line that's on your credit profile, but you just can't see it because the credit monitoring hasn't updated yet. There are a lot of people that think that uh, the line wasn't posted or they got ripped off. No, you your credit monitoring hasn't been updated. You need to make sure that your credit monitoring is up to date as far as your score, the report that was pulled. It needs to be past the closing date. Now, there are a lot of instances that happen where information sent everything goes good and it only goes on one bureau let's just say if it goes on just transunion and not experian aquifax does that mean you got ripped off by the trade line company no it doesn't because in order for your for the line to post on one bureau they they did their job they they're they're not they, they can't select which bureau it goes on all they're doing is adding you as an authorized user on the account and taking that information and sending, and then the bank sends the information to the bureaus. So they didn't do anything wrong. Nine times out of 10, it's because of an inconsistency on the reports. So let's just say the name, the date of birth, the social, the address, they're good here, but not here. Then it'll be like, okay, well, we don't have anybody with that name. Uh, you know, let's just say like John Smith and John, Sm uh, John, John Smythe or something. I don't know, like there's a misspelling. They'll be like, oh, okay, well, we don't have a match. There's no name match. Computers are doing this, not people. And um, a lot of people are like, okay, well, why can't you just add the information again and have it go over here and, and uh, on Equifax too? Why can't you just do that? Because if they change the information that's on this, it will stop reporting here to then go over here. It'll be some juggling act and no trade line company is going to want to mess with that. The only way for it to post on all three would be you'd have to correct something that's wrong with your credit profile. So that's something that a lot of people run into. I don't think they fully understand. And here's another thing, why CPNs, why trade line companies don't guarantee CPNs. Here's the deal with it. When people make CPNs, they could have made them wrong. The trade line company didn't make the CPN. So you gotta think, you go, you send the information that you think's right, but you don't know because you had somebody make the CPN and you don't know if they did it right or wrong. They just told you that they did and you send your information to the company, the company sends it to the, to the cardholder, the cardholder sends it to the bank, and then that information, A, there's no report because a CPN was never made because the person you bought it from didn't know what they were doing, or B, 
this, there's, there's like 10 CPNs with the same name and information. And then your information goes on some other like random report from some P CPN that was old because people were making like 10 CPNs with the same information. And then you're not able to see it because it's on like some different CPN that was made uh, a year ago that um, you know the person stopped looking at. And the trade line company can't figure it out. They're like, everything, it's all jiving. That's because the, the, the information that the line went on another CPN that's just out there that uh, they don't know what the deal is. So that's why CPNs are not guaranteed because there's no way of knowing if they're made right, what information is on them. If there's multiple CPNs with the same information that would cause a screw up, like all that kind of stuff would cause grief for the trade line company and they'd rather not mess with them. So I hope this clears up some questions you guys may have had. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Crusader out.